Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In previous videos, we've looked at things like sum if and custom sort lists and how to sort data in Excel. But what I'm going to cover in today's video is an issue that you can sometimes get when you are using sum if when trying to sort data in a spreadsheet. So in this instance, we have two tabs. We have a summary tab and we have an annual spend by supplier. And what we want to do here is we want to use a sum if function to calculate how much we have spent with each supplier over the course of a year. So we'll do sum if we want to check our supplier number. So select this and make it absolute. Then we want to put in the reference that we want to look up, which is this cell here. And if we go back to our original page, the one we want to sum up is this spend column. And again, we'll make that absolute. If you want to learn a little bit more about the sum if function, I do have another video on it, which I will link above. So if we hit enter, we have our annual spend and then we drag this down. We then want to sort this data. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a custom sort list that we've used previously so that we can sort by our supplier size. So if we click on sort, we want to sort by our supplier size and we're using this custom list. We're going to sort it from large, medium and small. And then we want to add a level where we are sorting by our total annual spend. And we want that to be from the largest to smallest. Now, when we click OK, what you'll notice is it actually hasn't sorted it properly. And actually, if we click into our cell, you'll see that where this should be referring to cell A2, it's now suddenly referring to cell A5. So something's gone a little bit wrong with our formula. Now, this is a bit of a bug in Excel, and it comes when you're creating your sum if function when you're moving between two different tabs. So you'll notice that because I went to the annual spend tab, it's obviously highlighting the name of that tab. I then came back to the summary tab, so it's also highlighting the name of this tab, and then back to the other tab. So what we need to do is we need to remove the name of this tab to fix it. But first, we need to put our data back, so it's actually referring to the correct cell. So we'll just go back a step. And if we check now, that is referring to the correct cell. So let's take out this first bit up to the exclamation mark. I'm actually going to lock it to the column. And then we're going to copy this formula down. And now if we go back into our source and sort again by our supplier, add in our total annual spend, we'll make that largest to smallest, and click OK. You'll now see that we've got all our large companies here and our spend from largest down to smallest, then all our medium ones from spend largest to smallest, and so on with the small ones. Obviously, this is particularly useful if you've got really, really long lists with lots of data in it, but that's how you get around the issue of using some if and sorting data together. If you're finding it's not sorting correctly, check that your reference cell within your sheet doesn't have the sheet name in front of it. I hope that you found that little tip useful. If there's anything else that you struggle with or have any questions on, please do let me know in a comment. I'd also love it if you liked this video and subscribed, and I do look forward to seeing you on a future video.